Hi, this is your host for Raptor Adventures, Dave Klein. And in this episode, I'm taking you to one of the most folkloric areas of the home county that I live in, Berks County. We are in search of and on a safari for Pennsylvania's state fish, the native brook trout. Pennsylvania's state flower is the gorgeous mountain laurel and they're all over the mountains we'll be fishing in. But before we get to the fishing, I thought it'd be great to show some of the folklore, the music, the heck signs, the culture that we enjoy. If you visit to fish, you gotta stop at iconic places like the Deitch Eck Hotel, where you can get some good Pennsylvania Dutch food, or you gotta go shop at Dietrich's Meats and Country Store in Crumsville, Pennsylvania, where they're running the business with three generations of the family and traditional recipes. See the beautiful countryside that's around where we're fishing. See all of the gorgeous farms and the meandering streams that come down off the mountains. And now let's get to our main goal and get some fishing done. Well, here we are in the beautiful woods on Red Mountain. This is one mountain north of Hawk Mountain. Beautiful fishing water here for trout and smallmouth bass. We have the Little Schuylkill River, the Pine Creek. And we're gonna try and check out some of these waters with somebody who lives here year round. Person that with her husband built this cabin, a noted author, it's Cindy Ross. Hi, Cindy, you're ready to go fishing. I'm ready. You told me you know where some of these little native brookies live, right? I know where the, the pools are. I don't know where the fish are. Well, that's what our job is to find out, okay? Okay. All right, so where are we gonna go first? Uh, we're gonna go into into the Appalachian Trail um, down in Eckville. Okay. To this big pool and this really nice bridge where, uh, I think it's probably one of the largest pools in the upper part of it because Pine Creek comes out of River of Rocks, so it doesn't start very far up at all. Okay, the River of Rocks, can you just explain what that is? So a lot of people think that it was formed by glaciers, but it wasn't because the glaciers didn't come, come down this far, but it was caused by, uh, created by the proximity to the glaciers. So the tops of the Tuscarora Mountains from them freezing and thawing made the rocks fall and roll down. Okay. So it looks like a river of rocks and if you if you hike across it, you can there's a, a one one or two spots where it sounds like there's this turbulent water underneath it and some of the young kids try to move the rocks to get to it, but they can't. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that water already. Okay, so uh let's go. Okay. So we're on our way to some of the fishing spots to look for Pennsylvania's official fish, which is the native brook trout. But first we're going up the gorgeous Hawk Mountain Sanctuary Trails. This is one of the many trails. We're gonna go to the South Lookout. Cindy's gonna take us there so she can point out the River of Rocks that we talked about earlier. And then you're gonna see the rustic and truly idyllic area we're going to be fishing in. So I'm hoping to make it up here to the South Lookout. How much further is it? Just a stone's throw. Oh, okay. <laughs> you better not be lying. I can see the sky. Okay. Along the trail, you find many signs here at Hawk Mountain that can show you the kind of raptors, birds of prey, even vultures that frequent this ridge on their commute up and down the Appalachian Mountains and then all the way down to South America in some cases. Another thing we've seen along the trail, and this is a beautiful time of year for this, this is Pennsylvania's state flower, although technically it's like a deciduous shrub it's mountain laurel and it is in full bloom all over the mountain right now and it is absolutely gorgeous here okay next stop the south lookout to take a look at the river of rocks well we made it i made it cindy had to drag me in a wagon she had to go back and get a wagon, <laughs> do a wagon but point to the river of rocks now we're at the south lookout of hawk mountain all right let's zoom in this my friends Way down in the valley is where the Pine Creek starts. And that is where we are going to go and go ahead and see if we can find some of Pennsylvania's state fish, the native brook trout. What a gorgeous scene it is here. So we've hiked about a half mile in off the Appalachian Trail. You can see the white blaze or the Appalachian Trail in that tree right there. And we're coming down and we're going to see if we can find any live bait in the water, like grubs, um, whatever, it might be under stones. Then we're gonna see if there's any Pennsylvania native brook trout home here. They're just tiny little fish, but they're beautiful. And nobody's back here. So the first thing we've done here is try to forage from 
the uh, floor of the creek. Where'd you get this, under a rock? No, it was just swimming in the shallows. Oh, okay, hold it out here as far as you can. Stick it out, I'm trying to get a good shot of it. Yeah, I don't know, that is some kind of something. <laughs> we'll put it on and see what happens. It was moving. Okay. So to hunt for these small fish, we're using number 12 hooks, tiny little piece of split shot. So a very, very small, basic setup. Small hook, little split shot, bugs, and throwing them into the pools, seeing what's home. Well, we didn't have any luck at that first hole, although Cindy had a couple of bites. I think one large creek chub and one about three and a half inch native brook trout. But we couldn't land it, they're very wary. So now we are crossing the Appalachian Trail again. This road right here is Hawk Mountain Road. We're gonna jump in the trusty old Jeep <laughs> and we're gonna head to the legendary Pine Swamp Road where the same creek gets a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. And there's lots of folkloric tales about ghosts and goblins and crazy things there, <laughs> right? The devil. Yeah, and devils, the Pine Swamp Devil, right? Yep. Okay, now we're making our way to another spot. Maybe find some deeper water that they can't see us. The problem back there where we were, there were fish in there. Wait, this isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah this is it, okay. Wow, this is, I always call this the hillbilly area of Northern Berks. I don't even want to tell you some of the sites I saw back here already. Well, but, we came through here on the Appalachian Trail. The trail was on this road and there is a hillbilly that lived back here. Yeah, he's dead now, right? Yeah, and, he, yeah. and he had a still and he used to shoot at that hikers because they, they were too close to his still. Yeah, so that same guy I saw out here on a five gallon bucket one time, that was his latrine. <laughs> he just had his, he had his farmer jeans pulled down to his ankles and there he was, big as you please, sitting there on his five gallon bucket. I mean, who's well, that, picking a banjo here? Well, you the know? <laughs> house that we used to live in on the Appalachian Trail, these people here on the right lived there and the government kicked them out, eminent domain, and they hated us for years, feeling like we kicked them out. So we're on Pine Swamp Road. We're going to what's called the Eckville State Game Lands here. And um, this is a very little used road. This is one of the longer ways. If you ever wanted to come here to climb up to the high point, one of the high points on the Appalachian Trail in this area that has a beautiful overlook, it's called the Pinnacle. I don't know, it's like six and a half miles from the trailhead here to the Pinnacle. Let's see what's up the road. She's big doe. Yeah, she's a big doe. And throughout our trip, we've seen these beautiful Pennsylvania whitetails. Okay, so we're still looking for good fishing spots here in Northern Berks in what I call a hillbilly country. This is Schuylkill County. And oh, we've moved up to Schuylkill County now. And there's a good fixer upper. Wow. Yeah. Where the heck are you taking us? We're Hold going on. from Berks to Schuylkill? Okay. cast. You got the casting down. Those fish, fish should down. be, they should be jumping on your line there. Perfect. And just let it swing down naturally. There's fish rising all over there. I mean, right here, you can see there's some big trout in this stretch we're fishing right here, but the cast has to be exactly perfect. It's a hot day, about 86 degrees. It's not very shallow water, and you literally have to get it right in front of their nose and then hope for the best. But you can clearly see right in the middle of this picture right now, there's a beautiful trout right there, and there's about 12 of them in here that Cindy's trying for. Now, you can see that fish still down there, center of the picture, toward the bottom. We'll try a cast again and get in front of him again. That's, that's the only way this is gonna work today. I mean, right now, I am looking at six trout here. 
and the Little Schuylkill River. You can see them wagging their tails. Are They're coming up to the surface. There's one now right in the middle of our picture. And Cindy is trying to cast to them. It's not an easy cast though, it's an accuracy thing. But it's good to learn how to do this. Okay, keep the rod tip up. You feel anything on there? I do. You feel I a pull? Kind of Reel it slowly, but with the rod tip up, okay? Bring him up here. Let's see what you got. Because this is a great place to catch a native brook trout. And that's what you have. You have a native brookie. Let's bring him up here. All right. Quickly, we're going to process him. Take a picture of him with you right here. Oh, look at the spot. There you go. Wow. That's a native. Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah. Isn't he gorgeous? Wow. So very simple. We got him on a, a worm. And where are we at here? We're at Cold Rock. Now, because this was your first brook trout on this adventure, you got to do the old kiss the brook trout thing. You got to give a little kiss. Mwah! Okay, there you go. And you're taking that one home for supper. Breakfast. For breakfast, okay. <laughs> Today in this creek, we have a little bit of an advantage because of the heavy rains last night. The water is slightly discolored. If you come out and try to fish with these native brook trout on a really clear day where the water is crystal clear, they will see you coming. And as soon as they see you, forget it. I've already had a sneak up in these trout like on my belly, slithering up there like a snake. But another thing that helps if it's clear water is to have camouflage. Now this shirt might look very loud to you. But to a fish, I'm going to show you what it looks like to a fish. And you're going to see them. I blend right in. So here we go. Presto changeo. Bam. That's what it looks like to a fish. Okay. So now we're going to go check the fish. I'll be darned. It's another little native brookie. These are native. This is exactly what we were looking for right here. Beautiful, beautiful native brook trout. I want to handle them gently. That's paint on my wrist there. I'm staying in the deck. That's not blood. Look at that beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Good job, Cindy. We're going to release him. So I'm out here with my friend Cindy Ross. She's an author. She writes about the outdoors. She's a long distance hiker. But she hasn't fished for about 15, 20 years. So I said, listen, I need you to come out on one of these adventures, one of these rapture adventures. Let's go after some of Pennsylvania's official fish. And that is the native brook trout. These brookies aren't stopped. They're not that big but they put up a fierce fight and they're really smart. So we came here to a creek that's just in southern Schuylkill, just north of northern Birch above Hawk Mountain. And the reason we did that is it rained pretty hard last night. There's some sediment in the water, but not too much. And this gives us a chance to use worms. It's as simple as that because worms and grubs would wash out of the creek beds and off the sides of the streams during a storm. And then the native rookies would sit in a pool like this that we're fishing in. So we're having good luck. And let's keep on with it. All right, I think you got one on here. Made in cookies. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, it's a pretty nice one. So here you go. This is what we were after. This is a native brook trout. It is the Pennsylvania state fish. It's the only fish that's a trout that's native to Pennsylvania. Everything else has been stocked, and these haven't been stocked. This little fish probably lived its whole life in this little stream, this little pond right here. So that's what we were after. They're gorgeous. We're gonna let this one go. As I've been saying throughout this video adventure, this episode, we are in the very folkloric area, the mountainous area of Northern Berks County, Southwestern Lehigh County, Southern Schuylkill County, and it's steeped in all kinds of folklore, going back to when the Native Americans were here and the French Indian Wars in the 1700s. But with us here in the New Bethel Church, the very historic New Bethel Church, is artist John Bond, who has an art studio in Kempton. Hi, John. Hi. Thanks Hi, for folks. having us up here. You're welcome. Thanks for visiting. So tell us a little bit about the Eck and the Alamangle and the folklore of this area, including the dastardly Matthias Schombacher, who is buried here. Okay, well, first of all, I'll just say what the Eck is all about. Okay. The Eck is the German word for corner. And they call it the corner because it's literally almost the northern corner of Berks County. 
but it's also the natural corner where the pinnacle juts out from the Blue Mountain Range. It kind of creates like a fishhook or a corner, and it's kind of a geographical amphitheater in northern Berks. So that's really what the egg means. In fact, this church that we're in New Bethel, it was called the Eggakari, or the church in the corner, even though it's really about a mile or two from the actual corner at Eggville. Uh, a lot of folklore, a lot of history here. This was no man's land in the mid-1700s. Anything over the Blue Mountain Range was known as St. Anthony's Wilderness. And frankly, don't ask me where St. Anthony's Wilderness, the term originates, but that is the terminology that was used on the early surveyor maps here in Northern Berks County. In fact, Berks County at one time was also, uh, Schuylkill, I should say, broke off from Berks County around 17, late 1750s or so. Right, before there were county lines and all yeah, that exactly. stuff, there was the Eck and the Alamangle, and yeah. this is the, the way the Germans called it that settled yeah. here. The Alamangle was the region was which flowed into Lehigh County, Albany, Greenwich, and Lynn Townships, Lynn Township being in Lehigh County. Uh, a lot of mysterious things happened back in the Eck. Sightings of ghosts, of course, the infamous Matthias or Matthias Schombacher, who in fact is buried here at New Bethel Church. The story goes that Schombacher was the tavern keeper at near the top of a present day Hawk Mountain. Hawk Mountain, of course, was non-existent there as a bird sanctuary at that point, but it was the traveler's way from the Redding, Redding area, Redding Town, over to points north in Schuylkill County, Pottsville, and beyond. And the story goes that a lot of the sojourners and travelers would travel over the mountainside, bringing their wares on their way to sell them on the other side of the, the range, and they never made it to the other side. And so the legend goes that Schombacher was in fact murdering these folks and burying them on the property there at Hawk Mountain. I'm not so sure it makes for great uh, tourism and great literature, great uh, songs. Songsmith can use that for, for a extracting or building tunes out of uh, He was a real person, we do know that. Uh, the legend goes even further to say that he never really confessed, or maybe he did confess to these murders. And the day that he was buried here at New Bethel Church, the biggest lightning storm in Berks County history struck here in the graveyard and struck at the foot of his grave site. So take it for what it's worth, it's kind of neat storytelling. Uh, it's, it's legend, and every place has its legends. Right. So it's in this same mountainous region, the highest mountains in Berks County here in the area that I come from, where we're fishing. And uh, there's a lot of beautiful creeks in here, limestone creek beds. They flow into rivers like the little Schuylkill River and such. But there's also these legends about, like, the dragon that came out of the cave at the Pinnacle, which is a high lookout point on the Appalachian Trail. And we have this... Uh, pine swamp devil which is just kind of like maybe like the jersey devil just a yeah. creature that appears and terrorizes people could have been a hillbilly for all we I know i think it's a little bit of a take off on that jersey devil yep yep and yep. if you look up jersey devil on the internet you'll find all kinds of spooky diagrams and renditions of the jersey devil well you know how folk tales go they take on a life of their own right yeah. and uh so tonight we're gathered up here in these mountains though not to fish but to have an annual celebration that we started last year called Bethel Fest here at the New Bethel Church. And it's basically a very neighborly outing, as I would put it, of family, friends, and neighbors who gathered here in this beautiful mountainside at this beautiful church. And yeah, the cemetery is here, but it's not morbid at all. It's why not raise up the, the spirits with music. It's a peaceful place. People often remark how it's a great place just to gather your thoughts and just absorb the history of the area. Right, and Ben Austrian's buried here, yes? Yeah, probably you know, we have two famous artists here in Berks County. John from Bond. Two different, well, <laughs> I'm talking Ben Austin from, from the uh, early 20th century, and of course, the latter 20th century was Keith Harry. Yep. We have this beautiful stream uh, called Rausch's Creek and the Pine Swamp Creek. That in the Pennsylvania German dialect, it was called the Pine Creek, the Pine Creek. Not to be confused with the Big Pine Creek yep. up at like Wellsboro and all right, that. Right, right. Different but, one. But uh, you will find some neat little fishing holes in the in Roush's Creek and Pine Creek. Well, we've got a community concert to put on tonight. So, folks, you've got a little bit of a flavor here of the Eck, the Alamangle, Northern Berks County, Southern Schuylkill County, this wonderfully folkloric place where there are tales of ghosts, dragons, murderers, mayhem, artists, people who represent the light and the dark, 
And so if you come here to visit, you gotta stop at some of these folkloric places. Come out and visit, yeah, but check out some of the other places that are here. Thanks, John, let's go make some music. Thank you. Peace, everybody. Good evening and welcome to Bethel Fest. My name's Dave Klein, and it was a pleasure for me to help organize this wonderful neighborly gathering out here in the beautiful mountains of gorgeous Northern Berks County and Albany Township and Kempton and such. Home of all kinds of great folklore and such. I'd like to start out with a song that I wrote and it's called Born in Berks County. Fiddle and a banjo, got my fiddle and a banjo. Fiddle and a banjo, grab my gal and dose it go. Born in Berks County, I was born in Berks County. Born in Berks County, Pennsylvania is my home. Okay, bring it up. Well, now we're on the Little Schuylkill. We moved back to one of our earlier places. What do we got? Looks like you got a trout on there. Bring it up. Bring it up. Fishing off the bridge. We did a lazy person's way out here. Bring it on up. Bring it on out and over the bridge here. What do we got? Is that a trout or is that a creek chub? <gasps> this is a beautiful, this is not a trout. This is a creek chub. And let me tell you right now, if you had this for bait for musky, take it to some place like Blue Marsh Lake or any impoundment of water that has like a, Muscalunge or Northern Pike or Chained Pickerel. Whoa. Yeah. Let's have you with your, let's have you with your, yeah, look at you. That's awesome. That is awesome. Wow. That's beautiful fish. You could eat that if you wanted to, but you know, okay. Should we put it back? Yep. Okay. That is really, really It's not really big nice. enough to eat, is it? Yeah. You can eat anything if you're hungry enough. <laughs> I have on a wilderness trek, filleted a creek chub and ate it already. Look here. So fishing off this bridge, we're trying this the lazy person's way. This was Cindy's idea, by the way. <laughs> and uh, fishing for trout here. Now we're in the Little Schuylkill River. And I just hooked up with a really big trout. Now my dilemma is I have four pound test here. Can you look down there and see the size of that trout? Can you see it down there? Okay, that is a nice trout. I'm never gonna be able to pull this trout up onto this bridge. So now I'm gonna have to go over there where it's very perilous for my health and try to land this fish on the side. So let's go try to do it. And there's a stick here and this is gonna be a mess. <clears throat> oh, I think this is a big brownie. Very serious. I mean, okay, I gotta climb down here and keep pressure on the fish. See that he doesn't get stuck in there. I don't want to fall because it's not worth getting hurt. Fish still on. This is still on. <laughs> fish is still on. With four pound test, if I had to try to land this fish from pull it up the bridge there, no way, it'd be gone. But I think I have a chance here now. Let's see. Oh, fish is still on. Oh my gosh, it's stuck on a bush. Boy, do I wish I had a net. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And he's off again. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Your husband asked you to bring fish home for supper. So if I can get this fish up, you're going to bring him home. Brown trout right there. <laughs> oh. So 
So we're going to keep him for supper tonight for you, Cindy, and your husband, Todd. All right? Sounds so great. I'll be up. Oh, shit. Okay, you can... Oh, oh, oh my God. I sat on my rod and broke it, and I just sat in stinging nettle. Holy Boop. My Boop. undercarriage. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay. Broken rod. My rear end hurts so bad right now from stinging nettle. But we did get a beautiful trout for your supper tonight, okay? There he is. Oh. Okay, all right. Cut. Bigger than little. And let the good times roll. Are you hooked up again? Yep. All right, let's look down there. Fishing off the bridge, what do you got? I got a fish. Holy heck, it? it's another one of those guys. Another chub. Yeah, wow. Why These things so, here. Why is that so special? Oh, because. This listen, is, again, I, I know. If, because if I had a live bait well, I would put these things in here. And the reason I would do that is because for, for pike, for muskies, for catfish, this is like an eight inch, uh, beautiful fish. It's related to the herring. You can see that by the scales on it. It's kind of like a giant shiner, oh, like an yeah. owl wife, you know? Um, they somebody taste good. Could I would eat it. <laughs> Why not? It's like herring, right? Yeah. Okay, so hold your fish up. Pickled herring. Hold your fish up. Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. Catching multiple the species. Woo. Oh, there you go. Flopping around. Well, let's let him back. Unless you want to eat him. Why not? Uh, you're gonna eat it? Okay. All right. Meal. All right. There you go. What a mountain woman you are. Okay. Looks like he has a catfish mouth. Yeah, no. Is he in the family? No. no, catfish have barbels off the side of his mouth. No, he's just got scales. Yeah, for a little fish, they put up a heck of a good fight, don't they? Yeah. That is like candy to a muskie or a northern pike or a catfish. You or know? me. Huh? Or, or you. <laughs> you're gonna eat one. Okay, good for you. That's great. All right, Cindy, that's a pretty good day of fishing right I'll there. I'll say this is my fifth one. Woo! But who's counting, huh? That's yeah. Right. Who caught more? <laughs> you or me? <laughs> you did, I, I think. I don't know. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's fish love right there. Yeah. Yeah. So to help you out, this is the bridge we were fishing on, Schuylkill County Bridge number 28. And as I said, Cindy Ross is the author of many books, her latest book being The Log Cabin Years, when her and her husband, Todd Gladfelter, were just building her cabin. Okay, so this was an epic two-day fishing adventure. <laughs> we started off one day and we got completely skunked. It was stinking hot that day. And we were in the same stream we're in now. The yeah, it felt good in the water back yeah. then. Now it's kind of chilly. And we saw the fish, but we couldn't land the no, fish, right? No, they were right? huge, too. Right, right. So our main goal was to see if we could catch some of Pennsylvania's native brook trout which we went to that little hole and uh, we caught him. And where was that again? Cold Run. Cold Run. Yep. In Schuylkill County, Lower Schuylkill Southern, County. Southern Schuylkill County. We're just yep. over the mountain from Hawk Mountain in Berks County, if you know where that is. Yep. So the we, are, we didn't go very far to all these places that mm -hmm. we went. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had luck there. Uh, we got a couple nibbles and then all of a sudden we started landing fish. <laughs> and then after a while, you know, we just decided to move on. So we came back down to the little Schuylkill here and you know, you, right away you were hooking up with these fish. It was great. Yeah, Got it was that brown lots of trout, excitement. Broke a rod, sat in the stinging <laughs> nettle. <laughs> Too bad you folks couldn't see the footage <laughs> of me trying to get some comfort. I, should, I shouldn't have stopped the camera rolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sydney. so it's been a real great time. Thanks for bringing me up to your home area here. 
It's been a real great time in the mountains with you in these clear mountain streams. We'll it see you next fun. time. Good okay. luck with your next book and all of your adventures. Thank you, dear.